So hello, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Vahid Akhavan. I am one of the development engineers at Nova Centrix. I have been with the company for uh, around three years now, a little bit more than three years, and it's a very exciting place to be working, actually. I've, I have been in many different situations previously. Uh, Nova Centrix, we get to interact with many different customers, and it's, a, it's actually a very a big thrill to be here in Berlin to be representing the company. Were you working with printer electronic stuff before? I was. I was actually concentrating on six photovoltaics for uh, solution processable solar cells. And the six photovoltaics business actually requires um, a process called sanitization. And uh, in the sanitization process, what we do is we place um, copper indium gallium uh, films in a selenium rich atmosphere and we anneal that at 500 degrees or higher temperatures and we can form a, a copper indium gallium selenite crystal structure that can be used as absorbent material for photovoltaics. So what I was doing as a graduate student, I was working to, um, to create copper indium gallium selenite uh, crystals in a solution and then uh, I was spray depositing the solution onto the back contact and then uh, making a device out of that. So that was a few years ago, did the chip commercially? Uh, we did do some commercial stuff, unfortunately that that is still a development project much, uh, and has not really taken off. So uh, comparatively, uh, what's going on here at uh, Nova Centrix? Uh, what what kind of stuff is happening? What are you working on? So at Nova Centrix, we work mainly on um, mainly on print electronics. Obviously, that's why we're here. Uh, what what the main goals of Nova Centrix is is to deliver the tools that can be that can be used to generate the next generation of devices in the electronics business. So we deliver nanocrystalline based inks that can be printed into conductive circuitry and then we deliver uh, uh, photonic curing equipment which are uh, the state of the art flash lamp systems that, uh, that uh, use quite a few uh, feet added features to uh, a flash lamp system to enable uniform pulse control to enable fast processing rate through uh, water cooling of the flash heads that enable control of the uh, full production through a user interface and but also enable a simulation of the temperature profile within the short processing windows that we have uh, we have established with Tonic Curry. So is it a fun job for the engineers at the Nova Centrix to make all this stuff? Absolutely. So, so what happens every day? So at Nova Centrix, it's, it's, no two days are alike. I have been there for a little bit more than three years, as I said, and uh, we have been expanding into very new territories that I never thought possible. We have been working on displays, on battery, on storage devices, on, um, on uh, textiles, on, uh, and on a variety of different techniques. And all of these things were a dream or a vision few years ago but they are slowly taking shape into reality and we, we will we are expanding and we put our photonic curing equipments are now uh, incorporated in actual production lines where where this is something very new for us so it's kind of uh, interesting and w w what's possible with printer electronics is it is it kind of like a printed PCB on a plastic and stuff and then but it's low resolution compared to other kinds of PCBs. Uh, what, what's possible? What's going to happen? Uh, I mean, PCBs is one one va venue that's very interesting. I mean, uh, the ability to print a circuit board instead of having to manufacture a circuit board in an environment is is amazing. But that in itself uh, will not displace the at its current stage will not displace the conventional PCB manufacturing. Conventional PCB manufacturing has been for a long, around for a long time, and people actually are very entrenched in that uh, in that business. So it won't replace that. But there are there are many new venues at which we can apply these concepts that open up uh, open up opportunities that don't actually exist today. And I think that's where print electronics can come into play. So, for example, textiles is, is, in, is a great example of so, how this is happening. So this is uh, 
is a real it's kind of like it, it can be worn it and can be worn there's a battery in there and then so this this prototype is does uh, I can wear it I just don't want to wear it because I will make it smelly and then we have to wash it but um, this prototype can be is operating on a kind of a hybrid system where the we have printed conductive silver pads that that are um, that are screen printed out of silver materials that Novacentrix manufactures and but the the LEDs the battery pack the, the actual connectors the control board are all conventionally available uh, structures this demonstration uh, is used to demonstrate the versatility of and the ability to actually print uh, conductive patterns on clothing and still achieve very good opacity on these patterns, on these circuits. So how do you do that? That's a different machine, right? Uh, so, I mean, this is a screen printed sample. It does not necessarily use uh, the photonic curing equipment, even though we would like to use the photonic curing equipment for various um, aspects of what we would deliver to the garment industry, it is not a necessity for the garment industry. At Novacentrix we work on so many variety of different techniques to actually process the materials, one of them being the photonic curing equipment. So um, the printed electronics is pretty cool uh, area, Area, right? Absolutely. So but how, how soon is it everywhere in, in the world? Is it already a little bit so, print electronics is expanding rapidly. Actually, we are getting into into the consumer world through our RFID manufacturing, through manufacturing of uh, items that, because of proprietary nature of these items, I can't discuss them in full detail here, but uh, these things will be uh, ubiquitous in everyday life, and we will no longer believe in them as printed electronics we will believe in them as everyday items so there will not be a distinction between uh, the real world and our world we are the real world but the consumers are going to be a little bit impressed when they see this kind of stuff arrive around the world and they'll be like uh, uh, overwhelmed or they'll be like ah this is just okay this this technology uh, for because printed electronics world is being slowly incorporated into, re into the conventional electronics world. What we are experiencing is that consumers no longer can tell the difference whether an item was printed or an item was uh, etched or an item was stamped. These are all kind of in being meshed together into a, into a unigen that, that the that the uh, consumer will no longer be able to distinguish these. And if the consumer is no longer dis be able to distinguish this, I think that's the highest honor that the printed electronics world can, can achieve. So you said etched or stamped? Are those the, uh, the conventional ways? Well, those are the conventional ways for making, for example, RFID tag antennas, is either etched copper or stamped aluminum. Our uh, added additive technology by depositing the metal on ink and processing with the pulse force system uh, is a unique operation that doesn't require either etching or stamping. So you said you were working in displays and, and power, batteries? Yes. So Isn't that amazing and awesome? Does they are really amazing work? and awesome. Absolutely. There is, there is a lot of things happening. We are, unfortunately, we only have a limited bandwidth to work on specific items, but we believe we can work with uh, quite a lot of um, experienced partners that are experienced in these fields that are helping us achieve goals that are being set in the, uh, in the displays or in the, in the storage devices or in uh, other types of electronic manufacturing. So how's it been at the at this show, the Print Electronics Show? Oh, the Europe? show is great. Uh, we have had two very productive, busy days in our past, and uh, we are hoping that the leads we have generated from this show will uh, pan out to real partners and real customers.